Pretty much same story. Born in Brooklyn, raised in Jersey. Go to Hackensack. All right, back. Yeah, Bergen County. Bergen. Poor kids in Bergen County, God. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's the sit down with you guy, M-Easy, and today we're going to give you some advice. We're going to try to help you out, make a little bread. I got JP in the building. JP, what's up? Yeah, yeah, what up? We're here. Thank God, man. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for sharing your platform, you know, to give this information to our people. Oh, no. It's, it, we we thank you for giving the information to our people because not <laughs> not all of us are well-versed in the uh, the entrepreneurial world. Yes. And as an entrepreneur of yourself and someone that's consulting and doing all these things, you're someone that us as our people, we right. should be coming to you to get this information. So talk to me, man. Help us. Yes, yes, man. Um, first of all, at JP Consulting, which is my consulting firm, mm -hmm. um, we focus on the community of entrepreneurs and small business owners, helping them register their business the right way, ensure that everything is structured correctly so they're able to get funding, able to scale their companies. Mm. I come from the background, you know, my dad, my uncles, they have bodegas all under their names, gotcha. struggling, working 17 hours a day. When you break it down, you're making several dollars an hour, you're saving money in your crib, you're not growing any business credit, your, ba your paydex score is low. Mm. Like, there's no structure, and a lot of times in our community, especially in the black, black and brown communities, you go to Brooklyn, the Bronx, Queens, um, Staten Island, Jersey City, Newark, all you're going to see all these small businesses, mm -hmm. but they're not all structured correctly. So they never scale. They come, you see any restaurant in the last five years, and they'll be out. Why? There's no structure to it. Mm. It's all self-funding. Yeah. There's no business lines of credit. There's no um, employee development, and that's what we do at JP Consulting. Okay, so so now I'm being I'm gonna be a little selfish <laughs> here. Um, me and my friends just started a podcast. Um, it's uh, Stat Sneakers and Styles. We have an LLC. We're trying to like make it that's like official. Up. What are, what are some of the things we need to be doing? Okay. First thing I'm going to tell you when you have your LLC is I'm happy that you're doing that, right? Because we want to make sure we're not running our company as a sole proprietorship. Yes. Number two, you want to make sure you have yourself three bank accounts. One is for your expenses. One is where you're going to have all of your revenue coming in. And the next one is going to be for your payroll. Mm. Once you have that structure and you're showing the financial institutions, which are your banks, that your business is structured the correct way. You have revenue coming in, it's going to an expense account, then it's going to your payroll account, and you guys are showing that flow. Number two, you want to focus on how does your, your podcast make money? How does your podcast, what's your plan on having to make revenue? Is it going to be through sponsorships? Or are you guys going to do events? Is mm -hmm. it going to be through soul listening? What's the distribution of this podcast? Are you guys going visual, um, digital? Are you guys going audio? You could do both. So as long as you have these things together, man, I think you're going to have a successful podcast. I have, uh, yo, that's so crazy. <laughs> I have all those boxes checked oh, out. A live events. We got the guys night out. I, I, oh, listen, I'm going to talk to you off air so we can get a little situated. But yeah, <laughs> For um, sure. I, I'm excited. I'm excited. Anyways, um, so how did you get into this world? What, you said you, you watched your, your family go of through course. a struggle. But how did you, like, what was your entry point? I so um when I, I went to DR for a few years, of course, to finish out high school. In DR? In DR, man. I've Crazy never heard that. Experience. Yeah, <laughs> man. It was cool because I actually, And you got no kids? I got wow. I got one daughter right now. <laughs> yeah. And another one on the way. Congratulations. Um, but it was cool, man. Thank you. Um coming from DR, I really got to experience what poverty is out there. Cause over here, you, you know, it's a little bit different. You could come and you don't really see the poverty. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could have anybody, you know, come from Jersey City and you could see them in a Gucci store and be able to afford different things. And DR is either you got it or you, you don't. don't. Yep. Um. So seeing people struggle and seeing my dad run businesses out there, when I came to the United States, I said, all right, I I, I want to make sure that I'm working for myself. I went ahead. I got my college degree. I did the corporate route, but it wasn't for me. Mm -hmm. I was making a bunch of money for another company, and they weren't even taking my opinions and ways that they can make their business better. Yep. So I said, you know what? I'm out. I went ahead, and I opened up Bodega like a typical Dominican. <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? I went to the Bronx. I opened up my Bodega, and it was a great experience, man, because I actually got to understand how much work it is and how much of a bad uh, business it is to your personal lifestyle. Think about it. You're in the hood. You're eating terrible food all day in the store. The community, you know, sometimes tests you when you're not really developing yourself. Mm -hmm. um, but it was a good experience. I got to learn that. I bought the store for 20000 and within six to eight months, I sold it for 92000 so How said, did that flip happen? Um, Yo, I just looked at the store. I sat outside one day, and I said, how am I going to be different from every other store? So I went ahead. I painted it. Before this, there was no Uber Eats. I got delivery in the stores. Mm. I'm talking about like 10 years ago. Got you. We started doing deliveries, a lot of From flyers. a bodega. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's not, that don't happen. They weren't on that. Yeah. So I just started making buzz, Um, and I went to the competition. Six months later, I said, hey, I'm selling. You want to be for you want to buy or should I go somewhere else? And he gave me the money that I asked for. Nice. Yeah, so that worked out from there. Um, 
took some time off, and I said, what type of business I could get into that I could go ahead and duplicate and not have to physically be everywhere? So I went ahead and opened Shake and Juice Bar um, over in Union City, New Jersey, um, right on the corner of 42nd and Park Avenue. I think I know that place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I know that place. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's crazy. Yeah. That you own that? Yeah, yeah, that's me. Wow. Yeah, so we have that. Um, We opened the store in Jersey City. I got a juice truck. Then I got into gyms, and I was just able to scale the company. Mm. Yeah, I went from literally from one store to six stores in about two and a half years. So I'm like, all right, you know, I think I know what I'm doing. Um, And throughout that process, many people will hit me up. Yo, JP, how you got to fund them for your business? Yo, JP, how you got a commercial on TV? Yo, JP, how you got on the Spanish radios? I'm like, you know, just giving people this free game. Um, and throughout that process, man, I really developed my, my business. I developed how to get funding from banks, how to structure my company correctly. And then one day, man, I was just sitting in my living room, and I was like, all right, I'm done with the food industry. I want to do a little bit more. I want to be able to help um, my community on a nationwide scale. Um, I opened up my, my consulting firm from my living room, and um, you know, fast forward a couple years later, I got a, a, about 30 sales reps that work for me, wow. and I did $1.8 million in revenue last quarter. So, you know, things is, is, is lit, thank God. Um, but yeah, man, that's pretty much what we do. And every everything I tell our clients is because I've done it. I'm not going to tell you, hey, you have a podcast, the same things I did to get funding. That's what I'm going to give you that information to ensure that you're able to, to grow a successful business mm-hmm. like I did. Mm-hmm. Everything we do at the firm is from my personal experience. I made a bunch of mistakes. I spent so much money, and I just don't want people to do that. Mm. So that's how we work it out. <sighs> so... So do you specialize in small businesses? Yeah, that's what I specialize, 100% small businesses. Ooh. Anything from a bodega, restaurant, or e-commerce. We have a couple podcast clients. Anything that your, your revenue is under a million dollars and you have less than 25 employees, we're able to help you. We're going to talk, me and you. Yeah. Talk. Um, Hit JP, me up. I got you, yo, bro. We, we going to talk, JP. Yeah, for sure. Um, so w- what are some of the things on, like, a smaller scale that an everyday person could could – could use financial like help with. Okay, um one of the things that I want to I want to make sure that every entrepreneur out there understands, yo, use the platform that are available for you for free. Grow your TikTok, grow your Instagram, grow your YouTube. A lot of times people don't realize that that time you put into that, that's going to give you revenue that you that is completely aside from whatever your business practice is. Mm-hmm. So if you started a company, it could be a shoelace brand, a shoelace brand, and you don't have any clients, yo, start showcasing that online. Tell people the story. Mm-hmm. Um, don't just throw products at people. Remember, um, when, when you're marketing yourself and you're telling people your story, that first transaction, people are buying from you because they believe in you. Mm-hmm. The second transaction is because they like the product. Yeah. Tell that story. Let people know what you're doing. Let people know, hey, listen, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm starting. This is my business. Um, I'm starting it by myself. I don't have a lot of resources, but I want to give you the best product and the best customer service. And people are going to listen and follow as long as you're consistent. Mm. That's the key. Consistency, consistency, consistency. What do we always say, Fats? Consistency is the key. There it That's goes. The game. There it's it facts. goes. Yeah. So financially, what do you think is the biggest issue in our community? Capital. We don't have access to capital. We're so creative collectively. Yo, you go into any of these communities, man. I'm from Brooklyn and living in Jersey City. Yo, the creativity, I see these people talk and seeing the cats in the community. I'm like, damn, we're so creative, but there's no funding. We don't know how to get the money to start a company. We don't have, um, you know, uh, VCs, virtual cap- capitalists that are going to invest into the company. We don't have access to that. And as a community, I feel like if we we spread the, no- the word a little bit better and we collectively come together, um, and inform ourselves, like sharing a platform like this, letting you know, hey, hit us up at JP Consultant. We're going to make sure we get you at least fifty to 60000 in funding within the first six months of your business. Oh, now you yes. have capital. Yes, you know I like that number. That's We're the capital. Talk to JP. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to talk to JP. Because it's, it's like, you think about it, man. If you start an idea and you don't even have that twenty five, fifty thousand 50000 to start, you're not going, like, it's going to be difficult for you to really scale. Mm-hmm. So that's the main issue in our community. We have the creativity. Now let's get the money to go ahead and bring things to life. <sighs> My cameraman, Fats, I, you don't, JP, if I tell you how many ideas and, 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 and events <laughs> and situations that I, I'm like, damn, I just had the capital just to make it happen. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Hit us up at JP Consultant, man. I could get you. I, I could get you capital, and I could help you structure your business and make your idea better. Because that's what it is. We all need a little fine tuning when it comes mm-hmm. to business. That's what we specialize. We got a team of about forty people that specialize. We got an in-house graphic design team. We got an in-house data specialist that is access to our community. So let's say, for instance, you have a podcast, and let's just say, for example, is on um cooking. I can narrow down to you what places in the country search cooking content in the entire country and put you in front of that market. 
If you don't have the data, you will never get that. Mm -hmm. That's what we have at our firm. We have endless amount of data to, to give access to our people. You know, <laughs> that's what it's about. Information, brother. I, I, I believe that a, a long time ago, somebody said to me, the best way to hide things is in a book. Because black and brown people aren't <laughs> trying to read. That's true. And I believe a person like you has has the knowledge. And for us as a community not to latch on to you, it's it's crazy because you have the knowledge. You can get us the things that we we need. Of so we're going to push this one out. I'm going to have JP on, on my guys' podcast as well. We're going to talk. Me and you, we're going to nah, talk. For we're going to sure, figure some man. stuff out. And, and that's what it's about, you know, giving the information. Because yes. all it is is a lack of information. If I have some information that could blow your podcast up, it blows it up. You're going to remember. You're yes. going to remember this. this the first this, this time we have a party of JP, you know swing on through, my yeah. God. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what it's about. Um, and even with that podcast that, that you have, um, of course, I want to talk about it off the air because I do have a TV show on the ROI TV network, which is amazing. It's called Browns and Suits, where we give information to our community. So I could also plug you in on that, you know what I'm saying, to, to collect that bag, as we say, <laughs> on the network level. You feel me? <laughs> God is good. That's God is great. God yes, is great. sir. Amen. Okay, yes, before sir. before we start talking about our money stuff, anything else before I let you go? <laughs> nah, man. You know, this, this is a waste of my time. I got to get to my money. Uh, so give them their, their advice and let's get to my money. Come on, hurry up. Um, yes, yes. So I want to let everybody know out there, man, follow us um, at JP Consulting underscore. Um, you can reach us, Google us, JP Consulting and Business Services. Catch us every Thursday on the ROI TV network. I'm going to suits. Now, nah, for real, man, it's great. It's a great show. Um, thanks to the CEO, John, for giving us a chance on that platform and letting us run the show, produce everything, wow. no questions. Um, and it's very well curated, man, to give information to our people. So I'm proud of that, mm. and I'm proud of helping our people. And anything you need, man, hit us up direct. I answer all our DMs. Um, call our 1-888-379-6011 phone number. We're here to help you let's get you funded let's get your idea out there hit me up listen if you don't believe nothing i didn't tell you just believe i'm gonna talk to this man off the air <laughs> and i'm gonna make it happen so if y'all want to do be like me hit up jp consultant and we and it's just like that jp thank you again for coming i appreciate, appreciate you, brother. you thank you thank you so much again thank you for sharing our platform and like my slogan is jp consulting our network is your network so we're here there it goes listen <laughs> use his network use jp he is part of the sit down family i thank you and keep sharing the the, in, the information and the knowledge with our people because we course. need that of course of course we do and that's what i'm here we out of here baby it's a sit down yes Come and catch the vibe. Welcome to Easy Weekend. It's Easy Weekends. Cats can't see me.